Hello guys, welcome to Fish Academy. Yeah, today I'm in my office. Yeah, for those of you that have watched the previous video, um, I told you guys that I'm going to bring back this sample from my farm in order to test it right here in my office. And uh, right here is the water from my uh, water tank there in the farm. And uh, you, for those of you, you know that I got this from my water tank. And this is from the treated pond. I, in, in the previous video, you, uh, you saw that uh, there's a, a pond that I stock uh, a plantain, dry plantain leaves. This water is from that pond, the treated pond. And the pond right away is undergoing treatment. So we're going to see the water pH. And uh, this is from the bigger pond, my pond number six. So you need to go back to watch that video so that you know where I got all this sample from. Also here is my cement. Though it's cake, it's due to moisture, but it's still going to uh, work. It's going, it's going to function in what I'm going to use it for. And here is my, uh, my sodium bicarbonate. So we're going to see actually if this is acidic in nature or alkaline in nature. And you know, people when after construction, uh, after constructing a concrete pond, people do say, "Hey, let me use this to treat uh, the acidity of this uh, concrete pond." So actually, we want to know if cement is acidic in nature or alkaline in nature. This is sodium bicarbonate, and this is my pH chart. So immediately after, once I test anything, I'm going to place it here, and we're going to know the pH of this sample. But first of all. Let's uh, 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 see the sample of water that I have here in my office. So let's go straight to my office uh, tab and my washing basin to see the type of water that I have. Okay, so right here in my office, let's see the uh, pH level. Here in my office, I'm going to drop this three drop inside this. Oh, this is absolutely bullshit. Okay, so I'm going to shake it. Can you see? This is. We're going to take it to the PS chart to see, but without even taking it to the PS chart. You know that this is pH 4, which is uh, bad. I mean, it's very, very bad. Most of the water people use, is in, especially in the Niger Delta region, here in Nigeria, the water is highly polluted due to some certain things, industrial action, that do happen in this area. See the water here? And my neighbors from here in the office, the neighbors, I believe, most of them, they might drink this without knowing that the water is acidic in nature. This water you are seeing here is acidic. So, but so this is the water that I have in my office. So let's see. Let's see. You now, uh, for example, you now want to use this for your fish. What you need to do? What you need to do is for you to apply a little of sodium bicarbonate. This is my sodium bicarbonate. I'm going to pick it. Let me pick it with my hand. It's not corrosive. It's not corrosive. So I'm going to drop it inside here. Wow. And do you notice anything? The quantity of sodium bicarbonate drop into this is much. That is why it has turned the water to alkaline water that is not even good for your fish okay so if you take this to your ph chart you know that this is ph 9 and it's not still good so let's see the water sample the water from my farm from my water tank that is what the sample of water we want to test first then we test this we test this then we test Either cement, whether to know either cement is alkaline in nature or acidic in nature. Yeah, so let me test the water from my water tank. Can remember this save a life for those of you that watched the previous video. 
so I'm going to drop this into this this from my farm okay drop oh it's much but there's no problem about that okay this from my water tank and taking this to the uh, pH chart without even going to the pH chart I know that this is pH 6 which is somehow good so take it down here to the chart this is pH you see that this is pH 6 which is somehow okay so but the the pond that is undergoing treatment right away my farm i got this this sample uh, this water sample from the pond so we're also going to test it do that immediately i'm going to drop three drop into it two three okay let me make it four okay can you see this this is exactly ph7 ph7 which is very very good for your fish and as i speak the water is undergoing treatment because of the renovation job that I did on that pond. So let's test this other water. So we'll now test the water from my pond number seven, where I have some fish inside. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. Three drop of pH water pH tester into it. Okay, I drop four. So, right there is a concrete pond. If you don't know my, uh, uh, my pond number seven, you need to watch other videos. This is pH, uh, pH seven also, as you can see, this is pH seven. And um, so, uh, if you've not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button, please. Just look below this video and click on the subscribe button. Don't forget, this is one important aspect of what we want to do today to know if cement is alkaline in nature or acidic in nature so if you've not yet hit the subscribe button endeavor to check the subscribe button on below this video and click on it and you also see something like a, a, a bell that is a notification bell click on that notification bell so that whenever i share new video you'll be one of the first to have it so this is this is it yeah so if you've not yet subscribed do well i have over 90 videos on this channel videos on how to locally uh, produce your fish food videos on where to get your pellet machine videos on how to treat your fish videos on how to ash your fish videos on so many things on this channel so you please just click on the video above you see the, uh, my lineup and you click on any of the video that interests you and please any video that you know that is important to you and you wish your fellow farmers or your friends to know about it just endeavor to share it with them either on whatsapp on facebook or in any of the social media platform even using any other thing share it with them and uh, please this the next video i want to do is to know if this is so you just need to subscribe to this channel so that because this is very very important thank you for checking on my channel thank you for checking on fish academy i love you all god bless all of you